Good afternoon friends. Welcome back to Real Trigger Fishing. It is midday and it's cooler today. It's a cool 98 degrees. It beats 110. But we're out here back at the pond. Try to get a little fishing in. I had to run errands all morning. And that's why we're getting a late start. So I only got like an hour or two before I feel like I'm gonna burn out. And I didn't get any search baits today. I think I fished this pond enough that I kind of figure the three areas that I can reach to are where they're gonna be. Hopefully. Something different though today. Berkeley Day. I got one of my all-time favorite baits, the Berkeley Power Bait Pit Boss. And something that I've been wanting to try is the Berkeley Gulp Helga Mite. I haven't yet tried it. I'm not sure what is the deal with it. I don't know how else to fish it, so I just got a mushroom style Ned, Ned Rig head and I'm gonna put it on there and try to hit up this dock around the weed lines and then go from there. Wish me luck. Like and subscribe, share it with your buddies. Our community's growing every day. Let's keep it growing. Right. So we're gonna start off with the Texas rig. All right, so we're in the middle of summer and one of the all-time favorite baits in the summer for me and for most anglers is the Texas rig. Right here I just have a 3 aught wide gap hook. I got the smallest weight that I perceive that will give me castability but hit the water and sink at a slower rate. I believe this is a quarter and I got my pit boss on there and really the Texas rig is an all year round bait and much weedless and you can fish it pretty much anywhere I, and you can just drag it on the bottom you can get pops you can lay it out there dead stick it for a while I mean it's just the most versatile that I can think of but in the summertime when the heat is real high and the sun is up real high above us the fish are going to plant themselves in the bottom in shady areas in cover things i mean it's just snag city is what i think of what about the texas rig gets in and out relatively easy and i just have a lot of confidence in it and i think that's the key is you got to have a lot of confidence in your style of fishing which I don't. I like the pit boss just because it's got the appendages that kind of hover around. You swim it back, it looks like a bluegill. You pop it on the ground, it floats around. The appendages just undulate under the water, giving a little bit of movement and vibration. It's got a thick body. I mean, it's just a work of art, really. Every time I come to this pond, I always start off at this dock. I know it's super high pressure on this dock, and so my best bet is almost always in those reeds over there. <laughs> but I gotta make sure that there's nothing here. I have on the dock, and I've gotten some pretty decent ones on the dock. It's just few and far between. Oh, that was a tick. Now I know from past experience there's a lot of underwater cover right there and it could have just been the weight. When you get a tick or anything, they usually stay in their little cover. Then they get real shy if you miss. There's not a lot of wind today, so I'm not looking at... Oh, I got a bunch of ticks right there and he's just not grabbing a hold. Oh, he did grab a hold. He just sat there. The little guy. Okay. I mean, hook sets are free. 
he's just a little guy and he, <laughs> it's a good start <sighs> pit boss and you know it almost never fails for me it's like a the Sanko for a lot of people little guy go ahead and go back thanks for joining let's see if we can find your big brother <laughs> yeah a lot of people say that <laughs> It's pretty nice when it's not real hot. Fix that up. Cast it right back in that spot. Get under this dock here. If you ever set your oven or get right up on your barbecue and open the lid and you get that big blast of heat, that's what it feels like. But constant. Bugs are all going crazy now. I'm probably going to get sunburnt. Let's see if we can do this lefty style. We're going to try a little bit out here. I'm going to put a pole out and see like do you believe that scent makes a difference when you're out fishing and it's a hard day fishing? I'm not talking about when fish are all riled up and they're feeding on everything. Springtime fattening up, fall time fattening up. I'm talking about those hard days of fishing where nothing's biting. You think scent plays a difference? Or leave a comment below if you don't see the poll. Personally, because I don't just bass fish, I catfish, I trout fish, crappie. I do believe scent plays a major role. I mean, when I'm going after cat or trout, or trout, I'm using garlic scents or cheese scents or corn scents. And then catfish, I mean, use the stinkiest bait or the sweetest bait. The carp, use, you know, I put jello packets in there. I think scent does bring a big attraction. Or maybe it's just a confidence booster. But even confidence is better than nothing, I guess. Over here on this side, try to cast down. We're on the edge. how I would think it would be. I was expecting like a nibble. There's as many ticks as I was getting with the bigger bait. I just put it under this dock right here. It's not casting, so. We'll make our way down there. Oh, looks like the Helgermite's a bust. <laughs> and it's beat up without even taking a bite. So. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about that. Have you used the Helgramite? Has it worked for you? I'm not sure. I would say it's the color because of the color of the water, but it's the same color as my my pit boss and my pit boss caught only one, but it's caught. I only got about 15 minutes left to fish. So we're gonna go back to the pit boss. See if we can get us another. It's 
Needs to be a lot of activity out here. I thought something was chasing him down. I was right. It kept going limp. <laughs> something got him pretty good. I wonder if he was caught before. A little bit smaller than the one I got earlier, but hey. It's number two, pit boss again. Like I said, there was a lot of activity, a lot of activity right here in front of me. My line kept going limp, but I never felt it. That's why it's always good to watch the line. All right, guys. That's about all the time I have today. I got two bass on the pit boss. Pit boss always wins. I got zero on the Helger mic. I don't know. Never fished it before. The only videos I've seen is usually, usually uh, river fishing. So that might be a thing. And those rivers are pretty clear. Um, I will give it another shot at some other time. But as of right now. Texas rig is the way to go for summertime fishing, and really, it's all year round. I always carry two rods with me. I usually carry me one with search bait, either a spinner bait or a crank bait, and the second one with a Texas rig. Until next time, again, like, subscribe, help me grow this channel, reach out to more people. Let's have some fun fishing. Hunting season's right around the corner. So we'll get some of that going. Have a good day.